Hello everybody, it's Strategic Primus, and I'm back with more Belgium, or United Beneluxes, it should be known. We're getting ready for World War I, which I know is coming, because... Well, that's the point of the game, isn't it? <laughs> well, you're still in our old school uniforms. Germans are too. It's rather interesting. Watch. Been enjoying that for a minute. We have a minute sent off to Africa. And I have reached a determination. We're going to. A moment while I deal with this silly, silly technology. I need that. We're going to ask the Allies. Uh, we're going to need the Allies' support. The additional fortifications and stuff only barely slow the advance. I'm nearly certain of that. It won't help nearly as much as the pile of French divisions and British divisions that are likely to arrive. Plus, let's be brutally honest, Germany's coming for us. But they're coming for us because they're trying to get at France. Might as well use France to begin with, right? I'm going to call in a um, bit of a risky spend here. I'm going to already go for a um, aircraft designer. I'm going to go for light aircraft designer uh, because our first couple of aircraft we can even possibly unlock are light aircraft. And I want that little bit of a bonus for when they actually roll out. So that our planes are really good. I like planes. Ah. Grand Duke William IV of Luxembourg is dead. Maria Adelaide is now Grand Duchess. The Balkan League has been formed, which means the Balkans are even more powder keg right now. Oh boy. As you can tell, Germany and Austria already have the blank check. I don't know why. Russia, France, and Britain look to be forming an entente. Uh, it should be noted that this is a spurious motion at the moment, unless they've actually gone through a certain thing. Give me a moment. This might actually hold. Leave it at that. That's World War One for you. It's all about. Hey, will Italy actually, you know, honor its arrangements? Well, Russia. Because remember, everyone has alliances with everyone at the beginning of this war. It's rather hilarious. Well, except for Belgium. But you know, we took out our friends and it ate them. Ah, we have enough goodness right now. I would absolutely love to have a recon company, because man, those things save you a lot of defense and breakthrough for a company. Yeah, they need some support equipment, which we do not have a lot of, but we'll get there. We're busily upgrading out of the levels, because god, I hate that piece of shit. I've lost more battles because of the levels. I'm salty. To do here, nope, naval. Hmm. You know that th feeling that you're pretty damn sure that 1912 is important for some reason? Yeah, no, me neither. Ah, that's why. Planes. So, the dirty little uh, trick about this one is the early fighter one is that button off of the scout. You don't want to actually build scouts, you want to build early fighter ones, because they will actually act as fighters. Took me a little while to figure that one out. So yeah, we're back. Our plan is to take Cologne, because if we take Cologne, that's just the biggest insult I can possibly think of the German interests. Uh, there might be a couple more. And let's get that bonus research for aeroplanes. So we're going to need aeroplanes. As we have none right now, I'm pretty sure Germany might have a fistful lying around. Britain will usually have a couple in France. I believe starts with a couple. No. No, they don't start with a couple. It's just most often they will end up having them because they have a ridiculous preference of that sort of thing. And apparently the Titanic has sunk. 
Interesting enough, occasionally it will not sink, and then you know you're an old history, right? Just taking a look at the bigger, wider world at the moment. During our wonderful little annexation, we managed to pick up uh, a lot of what will become Indonesia. Actually, what will become Indonesia. We also control the Congo. Ah, it's the Olympic Games in Stockholm. And even some of the first visitor against for women. We attended the ceremonies. Of course we were. Come on. We think we are. I'm scared. There will be peace in Europe. Wait, wait. I'm going to keep uh, calling in for more infantry because I do not feel comfortable with only four man infantry uh, battalion. Division. Sorry. Germans are beginning to build up on my border, which just makes me even more paranoid. And they're moving. Good. Whew. Let's just see what they're up to. Anti-Serbian policy. Great! I believe Bismarck said uh, the uh, end of the end of the Great Concert of Europe will happen because of some damn fool thing in the Balkans. Right, well, it's time for some damn fool thing in the Balkans. But the Ottomans seem to be holding off the Balkan League fairly well. I'm surprised. Usually they get their asses kicked as they're dealing with um, interior revolutions, Italy coming in, and then they have to deal with Bulgaria, Serbia, Montenegro, and Greece. Greece? Yeah, Greece. Sometimes they join, sometimes they don't join. Now, how do your Slavs feel about other Slavs? They feel good. Do you feel bad? I don't know. I'm going to be calling in my military theorist to get that little extra army experience because I need it badly. For medicine. Excellent. This is all just setting up the grand and glorious machine so that when we come to actually needing to go to war, we will be ready for it. If I keep clicking the wrong thing, I will trade. There we go. Let's see what we make. We are self-sufficient on coal, we're self-sufficient on oil, surprisingly enough. We don't really use any at the moment, but we'll get there. We are barely self-sufficient on aluminum. Once we start actually producing things in quantity, we'll need that. Of course, we don't have any chromium. Who the hell has chromium? No one has chromium. It's, it's, it's life. Uh, strangely enough, lumber is actually uh, a thing in this. I guess that makes sense. And Serbia went to war on the Ottoman Empire. Great! I'm gonna add some air bases just to get ready for those planes coming. And it's the war in the Balkans time. And now it's time for the Ottomans to get their asses kicked. The reason why is because they're on a multi front war and this bit overextended and dealing with rebels, as I mentioned earlier. They're also probably still at war with the Italians. No, they're not. Good. Not completely screwed. But, yeah. They're surrounded on all sides. Every once in a while, they will pull something off amazing enough because the Germans will usually want to use them, as will a number of other people. Well, the Austrians have, but the Germans have. That's different. Usually, the Austrians don't like them. We're going to hold down the East Asian holdings. So I realized I've neglected them slightly. These things happen. I'm definitely keeping my trickster in Africa because that extra reconnaissance when we're out here in spaces this big having to cover this much ground is important. Although it is also good to have a trickster just in general. Per usual, they just aren't defending Cologne well. It's going to hurt when we take it from them. Emperor Meiji is dead. Oh, that's not good. That means they have... Tashio. Hmm. They're going to be hungry for colonies pretty soon. I wonder where they're going. But no, I absolutely adore this mod. It makes the game a little bit more. Uh, it's a freshening up of the game. Uh, because there's only so much World War II you can take, you know? 
eventually. It's just too much work to do. We're going to try to figure out entrenchment if we're actually at war. Hey, would that be great? If World War I, they actually started figuring out how the hell to avoid getting shot to pieces by machine guns. I think it would be awesome. Okay, let's go over here. We're going to need the entire friendship. I'm nearly certain of this. I'm going to see what happens. Because if I can get these uh, free fortifications, I'm going to use them. Simple as that, really. Let's try to wait on it for a moment. And luckily, there's a lot of Frenchmen behind us. Or unluckily, if they determined to come for us, which would be annoying. Alrighty, 162 days until we get the early fighter that we need. France, please tell me you're not being an asshole. Help Belgium. Okay, they haven't gotten there yet, but hopefully we'll get there. And the reason why I'm not going for uh, Intent Focus is because of this. France will almost always choose this, because it will add to the Intent and help the French war effort. You know, put the Germans back in their place. But that requires a certain other start to the war happening first. If we are the start to the war, we're a little bit toast. Because this means there will be a couple of weeks while other people are still responding. Because instantaneous communication just doesn't happen. No matter how much you want to say it should. Wish to be just fine. Three more divisions. What I could do is I could divide the line, build another group, uh, entire group, have them in charge of the southern part of this line, or I could flip around who's in charge. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I'm going to wait on it. Zoom. Go for my artillery, dude. When we'll finally actually get around to having artillery, please. Construction's doing what construction things do. That will get us to 15, then we just start cranking on military factories. Because we're going to need them. We just are. What point can I do this? 13. Okay, remember that. Not too long. But I don't really want this neutral foreign policy. So I'm going to wait. Being indecisive. Being Belgium. Aviation effort will help us out. Because it's basically what we're doing as a nation, trying to rush planes. Because having planes from 8 o'clock day one will make me feel very happy about this war. Let me know how you think the series is going. Yes, I know this is a little bit different than what I've been doing in the past, which is a lot of TK2. Um, you know, let me know how you think about this series. I know there's occasional bits of dead time where I'm quiet and try to think about what I'm doing. Uh, but generally, this is going to be a very action-packed series. Or at least pretty soon it is. That's why I went with Belgium, after all. You're right in the thick of things without being too major of power that you have to sit around and micromanage you know, the entirety of Germany. And you're not the acting power, you're the reacting power, which means you need to sit here and go, oh, I got a plan. <laughs> which is amusing. Ah, here we go. Get the division here. Get me some more infantry. That should do it. Now we might have a chance to actually hold the damn ground. Maybe. 14 from 2 over here. Let's just get one over here. And we're between 7 and 12. 
three artillery pieces. That's gonna be great. This is gonna hurt. Because we do not have the production to field artillery. We just don't. That means we're gonna have to do this. I don't like doing this. Let's wait for that one to finish and then uh, then start that. Because having the full 15 is actually noticeable. 14 will have to be good enough for a little while at least. Because I need artillery. I cannot win this one without artillery. This is the war of artillery, guys. I'm going to need those, build those planes too. You know, I've spent all my time researching them. I can't just build them. Oh, this looks perfect. Look at that. Saying, yes, please, take Cologne. said we're gonna have to go for ourselves a little bit of an effort too yes I know the pacing of the series is a little haphazard that thing happens actually I want that guy to be over there because I'm just you know this is all prepping for war there will be probably, uh, yeah, these two episodes will probably be prepping for four. Uh, third one is when all hell breaks loose and we can actually fight World War One. Uh, hopefully, if I've done my job right, these first two, we might live. Because I've seen the AI get smashed many times. I'm going to go with Ecological Crusader right here, just so we have the same ideology people like us better. Um, the reason why? It's for the same ideology as Britain and France. We're all democratic. Constitutional monarchs and all. We need to, uh, you know, clown together and stop this shit. Because I know they're coming. I just know it. That or we're paranoid. A bit of both. A whole lot of both. I'm tempted to research airships, but I will just not have enough factories for them. But I love airships. But I don't have factories. Damn shame. 16, 16. We can finally actually use those because we have the necessary subdivision. Do -do -do. And these guys. I'd love to get them to feel possible to save some of the precious manpower. We'll get there. Five should be perfectly fine for that there. Let's make this a lower priority. Upgrades at highest priority because we need to make sure these good guns make the front line. Woodrow Wilson ran on his platform a new freedom. Announce what we also perceived as both Theodore Roosevelt's more paternalistic and collectivist new nationalism, as well as William Howard Taft's conservatism. Bow the Democrat, also promise, over tariffs, free trade, and trust breaking in speeches. Though the progressive movement would encourage him to enact a more moderate form of Roosevelt's proposals uh, through the creation of the Federal Reserve and the support for the income tax curses. While some of these policies might be costly in the short term and long term, they would both help keep consumers uh, protected from the economic recessions and make goods less expensive, satisfying the populace for the moment. Uh, well, it's amusing when you actually see uh, the Teddy Roosevelt one. It's if Teddy Roosevelt wins the United States, it's just like oh shit, <laughs> it's the Bull Moose Party. It's like yes, I've almost never seen the AI like that. Let me know if you have. It'd be really interesting. 
Alright, and get more hard attack or I get more soft attack. I'm gonna want more soft attack. I'm I'm just sure of this. Uh speed or do you know? Oh again. Cause I don't really want to take all that much. Yeah, we don't want to take it out of me. Crap. Or we go over here and get myself some. Nope. Nope. Not yet. We're not to 14 yet. We're 145 days ahead. That being said. We're going to get those better early support weapons. We're getting the Marley. I know we're getting the Marley. We need them. Ah, oh, we fixed the armor effort. Good. I'm gonna go for another construction effort because, duh. You guys can see the pattern, can't you? Good. Now we're going to need to just start making artillery ahead of time. This is gonna take a while. Yeah, I know they're not necessary yet. We need them, trust me. Just generally, I'd like to have, you know, that from X3 factories. One of which will be coming along shortly. Next construction effort will get us to 15, so we don't need that. We just need a buttload more of these. I like to keep most of my factories back off the front because we could very easily lose version of We could. For all I know, crazy buttload of Germans just appear here and it pushes while we're trying to take Cologne. You know? Things happen. I don't want to lose my precious factories. They take so long to make. We're gonna need field hospital. This is the problem. We're going to need a field hospital, but I really want to use that one too. Okay. I'm going to go with the field hospital, just because I know I'm going to run out of manpower pretty soon. We need motorized. Right. Which is horse-drawn vehicles in this. Don't think we're uh, running around with trucks and things. We're, we're not. Do not think motorized means it actually has a motor in this one. It, it, no, it just don't. Let's make the plane slightly better. I mean, this slightly better, and then make the plane slightly better. This is these little tiny percentages begin to start adding up in this game. No duh, it's hard to iron, guys. Okay, how large are the divisions? Anywhere between 6 and 12. I'm going to believe probably 9 uh, with 3 artillery. Okay. Plus, the artillery company attached. That's not going to be good. That's going to be really not good. Because we have no artillery. Artillery does a fuck a little soft attack. And we're going to take all these soft attack. Because we're not hard. We're not uh, mechanized divisions. We have no tanks. Tanks don't exist yet. This is going to be difficult. I'd like to get our area former in. So we can start really getting at least some area experience. Yeah, before we're even building planes, we already have the guys appointed, you know? We're up on this one. Ah. Uh. That can get us some good stuff. We're gonna have to go down to the left and crash. Not to worry. It doesn't take that long. Basically, I just found something that would get us some more factories. And I'll do anything for more factories. We need them. We need them badly.
And yes, it's June in 1913. I'm already just rushing to 14 stuff. That tree could use a little bit of flushing. It's my one knock on this. It has some really good stuff. They really did a very good job making a bunch of stuff. And it's unique and it plays the well. It's just, it's not as solidly necessary to chunk everything all the way through. Probably because they want you to spend a lot of time on. Doctrines and things. That's what they're called. Huh. Something amazing has happened at the factory on the uh, Pickett Avenue. Uh, Henry Ford's ambitious desire to make an automobile affordable for any consumer has inspired the assembly production scheme. Through the assembly line, they've been used since as far back as the Roman times. Henry Ford's clever use of mo uh, moving conveyor belts. Oh, though it's been produced. I'm like blind. <clears throat> Specializing machines and more specialty skilled workers, close making his dream reality. I hope they have them out of the black. Yeah, America is scary in this. Just terrifying. If the base game they're bad, this this is only slightly better. Actually, I'm not too sure if it's better or worse. It's it's Bad. If America comes, you, you, you've done your job wrong. You've not won the war quickly. They will usually join the Entente. I haven't, I haven't seen them join the Central Powers. I just know it's capable of happening. I'm busily making infantry equipment. Thousand guns. Engineering drawing, and that means we get ourselves reciprocating engine. Planes. We're figuring out planes. We're figuring out planes real good. Political effort. There we go. I'm going to ignore that for a moment. I'm going to go with this and down to that. There. I'm not making my. Uh, Political opinions off of uh, whether or not I can get more factories. Clearly not. This also means that I have the uh, raw political power up inscription whenever I want to, which is good. I am tempted to go for early mobilization. The only reason why I don't want it. Oh. Uh, it's 30, it's 10. Uh, no, it doesn't It doesn't do the thing with manpower. That's, that's good. Or I can go for partial mobilization. 12%. Building things fast. I need to build things fast. I keep thinking cost manpower. I just have played too much for Road 56. It happens. Sadly, this mod is not entirely ca uh, capable of being spammy yet. With Road to 56, um, you can play it, it's just extremely unstable, and I didn't want to try a YouTube run on that. Because if I lose the game, you know, the game goes boom on me. Uh, it doesn't, like, you know. It's on YouTube. Uh, you want me to be able to open the file again, right? Yeah, well, there's a problem. The file is gone because it's corrupted. I can't do anything about it. Sad truth, really. All right, we're going to need to uh, get a shitload of artillery because we need it. the Germans are coming at us with a pile of artillery, and we're just getting field guns. The first flight across the Mediterranean Sea. Say the locals of Bursa and Haiti, Tunisia, noticed a strange flying object, which was revealed to be Ronaldo Veros, a French professional pilot. It is Maureen Sierra Monoplane. The journey marks the first crossing the Mediterranean Sea by air, astoundingly landmark for the young science of aviation. 
Well, the sailors are reportedly not impressed, so what, it's just a fad, or more accurately considering Ben Marks is uh, religiously trying to figure out how the hell plants work. Oh, shit, they're ahead of us. And now that we're coming up on about the 30 minute mark, I'm going to have to call it here. We have progressed all the way up to 1913 in two, not too long, not too short episodes. Yes, I know 30 minutes, but it's hard to find you guys. This thing takes time. Anyway, I will see you all next time. Hopefully we will actually get to start the war. See you then. Please leave a like and or subscribe if you have appreciated the series. You know, let me know what I'm doing, what I'm supposed to be doing here, and or, you know, tell me I'm crap, whatever you want to do. Thank you.